G'day everyone. In this uh, mission we headed out to a local island off the coast of Auckland here, the Hauraki Gulf, and uh, we had both never dived here before, so it was a big scouting mission, um, searching for the right terrain and hopefully coming across some good fish. We got stuck straight in with Mason not mucking around and finding a nice fishy spot and getting the first fish of the day on board. Nice king bro. Solid. He's a fatty. Woo! First fish on the board. First fish on the board. Just weighed it, about 16 kilo, maybe a little bit more. Fat kingy. Clean fish. Get the my leather mullet from the anchor boxing. Oh. It's got a straight edge one, real sharp. With the sun not quite coming up yet and uh, quite dirty, gloomy water, it was quite hard hunting. Um, but it was fairly fishy, so we were optimistic. Anyways, gave it another 10 15 minutes at the spot, and no more fish showed up, so we decided to move on. Well, we tried a few more spots just around the corner. Everywhere we went, it seemed to get almost worse visibility. Um, so we just kept trying. It's spear fishing and diving. Can't always have perfect clean conditions. The species you're seeing here are um, sweep, uh, silver drummer, um, some demisels, and a few other fish. Generally, good sign. Um, of a high current area where you'd find kingfish so we hung around for a while but uh, I think we just had the tides timed a little wrong at the spot. Finally, after about an hour of searching, we found some pretty okay visibility and uh, fishy as well. Fishy little spot, so pretty stoked. Plenty of blue mammal here coming in, kahiru, tasty, tasty fish. So, tried to get one for the table, but uh, a very poor shot here. I do miss sometimes. You can see the fish were quite interested here when I was pulling up the flopper uh, shaft as it was quite shiny. Just goes to show you can use almost anything uh, to attract fish as long as it's nice and shiny and reflective. There's a big misconception about rollers that they're super complicated and especially uh, one with the real roller guns and real guns. Here's just a quick demo of me reloading the gun. There's nothing much to it, just an extra wrap of shooting line um, and that's it really. You're essentially pulling one rubber back. A 
Finally, out of nowhere, it came in a school of kingfish beneath me, so I didn't muck around. Quick duck dive and chose the fattest one I could see and whacked him. I thought it was quite a small kingfish at first, maybe 10, 12 kilos, but um, man, he kicked into life and I realized it was quite a decent fish and the fight went on for a good five minutes. Um, it's getting a bit wary at this stage of sharks coming in, so I just tried to pull him up hard. I knew I had a good holding shot. You can see on the fish where the shaft went through, um, up on the green half of his body. If you can get the shaft through that top side, you know you can have a really solid holding shot. It's nice and secure, firm flesh. If you shoot him on that underside and the shiny white belly, it's uh, generally a lot more uh, softer flesh and a high chance of it tearing out. So, good safe holding shot and go hard. Okay. Yeah. Fast forward another five minutes, finally had the fish close enough to me and realised he was a nice fat fish and uh, hence the longer fight than usual. Finally grabbed a hold of him and um, dealt to him. Pretty happy. Another fish on the board for the boat. Yeah, a little bit bigger I thought. The biggest one there. How's your scholar? Yeah, about six. They just came out of nowhere. Right. You're right out of the water, it just changes. Yeah, but it's good, it's like nutrients, that's all the fish are eating, aren't they? Yeah, literally on the chain, it's a massive score of bait, Everest. That's, I thought, surely a king's would turn up, eh? I was thinking Johnny's to be under as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Hey? Hey? I saw that. It's not a bad fish, man. Like, 12, 13. Yeah, man. It's alright. Bait for Sean and Let's go. With uh, a few sharks following us, I thought it would be a great idea to get some more blood in the water. <laughs> now, always bleed the fish, get that meat quality as best as you can, respect the fish and uh, you're going to have a better feed anyways. Just after getting the fish onto the boat, we decided to do a small photo shoot, jumped back in the water with the fish and uh, it didn't take long to bring those sharks in. We were pretty keen to get a few pictures of our catch and uh, weren't put off by the sharks but in all the commotion it just brought in more sharks uh, so there were about three nice bronze whalers circling us and then out of the blue came a big school of kingies with some nice sized fish in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I was laughing and screaming, we both had our hands full and I was yelling to Mason, pass me a gun, jump in the water and everyone was caught up, there was lines everywhere and it was just a disaster. Anyways, the kingfish swam free and uh, that's fine, we had enough fish anyways. Pretty cool to see nice big schools of these fish cruising around. Just a few minutes later, another school of kingies came in. Um, these ones, rats as we call them, or uh, juvenile kingfish. They're probably about 50 to 60 centimetres. And yeah, pretty cool to see. Good to see good numbers of young kingfish around as well. Spot, eh? Had one last little dive for the day, you never know what you can get on your last dive and uh, just saw a few little trevally come in for a look and yeah we called it after that, two big fat kingfish, we were pretty stoked. Well, that quiet dive turned into a not a bad little dive. We managed two nice fat kingies. Where's my one? This one with the poor shot. This one here. I think both pretty poor shot. <laughs> this guy's got a uh, sinker. Hooks right up in there in his mouth. So I've just finished the job. Line fishers couldn't. Morning done and dusted. Tried to get a bit of a photo shoot there and um, Bronzy nearly ripped it <laughs> out of my hands or Mason's hand from behind me so it got pretty hairy but um, yeah, Bronzy's round, plenty of bait fish, a couple of kingies so we're going home, done dusted. Well guys, um, good little trip out today. We managed two nice kingies, um, both weighed in around uh, 17 kilos, so yeah, quite nice fish. Pretty happy with that, and um, yeah, it was hard conditions, quite dirty, but um, and not very fishy, but managed to get a good fishy, so yeah, we're stoked. Um, so I'm just um, cutting one of them up now. Drop the other one the other one already off to the boss gave him a fish as we borrowed his boat today good trade um so yeah he's stoked and we're stoked so yeah i'll quickly whip these fillets off and um the old hanging technique it seems to be working a trick So we're just going to start, um, make a little incision at the top, I'm um, going to make a slice down each side of the spine, and we'll just uh, do the same on that side there, all the way down, across there, and we'll whip the fillets off, and then the wings will keep as well, and the head, make a soup out of that, or give it to my neighbour. Beautiful. 
big fillets. One down. Bit of meat on there, we can um, smoke that frame up with the wings and the head and there uh, won't be much left there. Got the wings, smoke them up beautifully.